Alright, so this video is just going to help you remember how to work out memory space. So the first thing is create a table similar to this. So I'm doing mine for bookshop. So the field names, I would have copied here every single field from my data dictionary, including my primary key, every field. And then here, write down the kind of data that you're storing. So I've wrote image just to remind myself that it is a picture, not an OLE object, because I might confuse myself with that. I can change this, this is just to prove my calculations, it doesn't have to follow all the rules that you've put in your data dictionary. But if it's text, I will have had a field length on, so I can copy those, but if it's a number, currency, image, I haven't got any memory space for those, so I need to decide here how much space I think I'm going to use up. So the book reference, so I'm deciding that I'm not going to have more than a thousand books. A thousand would be four characters. So that would be 4 bytes. The next thing, the sale price, I've decided that I'm not going to charge more than £90 for a book. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 characters that I would use. So 6 bytes. How many I've got in stock? Well I've decided I might hold 100 books and that's 3 characters so three bytes. And the image, so I've just picked a random image off uh, my database. You can use one of my that I put on Moodle. So I've got a picture of my dog which is 1409 kilobytes. Right then, stage one. I need to make sure everything's bytes because I can only add up the same kind of data. If you look here, this is in kilobytes so I need to turn that into bytes. So to turn it into bytes I need to times that by 1024. So in your calculator, put 1409 times 1024. And that's how many bytes I should put in here. So 1442816. And then now. Now I've got them all in bytes, I will add up that and all these numbers to get a total. So 1442816 plus 100 plus 4 plus 25 plus 20 plus 50 plus 6 plus 3. So my total bytes for one record is 1443024. Okay, but that's too big a number, so I can round that into kilobytes. So divide by 1024, and that's me answering kilobytes. So, oh sorry, I timesed by. So let me just go back one. So I'll cancel that off. So it was 1443024 divided by 1024. So in kilobytes, my answer would be 1410. So that's me answering kilobytes. So I'll put that there. But 1410 is still a big number, so I could divide that even further by 1024 to get my bytes. So that would be what, 1.4 megabytes? And there's no point me rounding that even more, dividing it in by 1024, because it's already a small number. So if I was doing that in my assignment, I would say for one record, I would need that many bytes. Look, I've shown it here and I'd explain in my workings out how I've done that. And ultimately that would mean I need 1.4 megabytes for one record. So if I needed to do it for 100 records, I'd just do a similar thing. So I'll start off with 1443024 times 100. So that's my answer for in the bytes. Divide it by 1024. And already now I've got my kilobytes. So 140920 in that one. Sorry. And then in there it was 1443024. Still a big number, so to turn it into megabytes, I can divide it by 1024. So my answer would be 138 megabytes. This is why you can see you need to start again. Don't just times the top one by 100 because you'll get a different answer. And then I could divide that again by 1024 and ultimately say 100 records is going to take what? 0.2 gigs and that's my answer so I'll just keep dividing by 1024